Hello friends, welcome to engineering tutorial. So in the previous two videos uh, related to neural networks, we discussed about the basic introduction to the concept of neural networks and the correlation between a biological neuron in the human brain and the artificial neuron in the artificial neural networks. So in today's video, we are going to discuss about some important terms and parameters that are associated with an artificial neural network. So we have uh, already discussed that this is how an artificial neuron looks like and a group of these nodes or neurons form a neural network which looks something like this. Now this is a simple neural network consisting of a total of nine neurons but in actual cases the neural networks that are designed artificially are much more complex and uh, complicated in their uh, designing their structure and also their function. So in this uh, neural network there are various things that we have to discuss about. So first is uh, the terms that are associated with this neural network or this artificial neuron. First is the input nodes. Okay. In this neural network, x1, x2 and x3, they are the input nodes. Why are they called as the input nodes? So these are the nodes to which the input signals are applied. Okay these signals are applied the input signals are applied to these nodes and that's why they are called as input nodes or input neurons similarly the output nodes so the output nodes are the nodes from which the output is taken okay so here y1 y2 and y3 they are the output mode okay y1 y2 and y3 they are the so here y1 y2 and y3 are the output nodes okay from which the output is taken okay so y1 y2 and y3 are the output nodes so the next uh, node is the hidden or intermediate nodes so these are the nodes that lie in between the input and the output nodes so here this is the input nodes x1 x2 x3 and these are the output nodes y1 y2 y3 and these nodes which are in between the input and the output neurons or nodes are the hidden or intermediate nodes z1 z2 and z3 so they act as a connecting link between the input and the output nodes so these are about the input, output and hidden nodes. Another important thing is that all the nodes or neurons which are, which function at one particular level, they belong to a specific layer. So all of these neurons which are at the input level, they are the input layer of neurons. All these neurons which function at the output level, they are the output layer of neurons. And all of these neurons, which are at the intermediate level, the hidden level, they are called as the hidden layer of neurons. So, the next thing, the next parameter which we are going to discuss is the weights. Now, each of these neurons, as you can see, they are connected to the other neuron through these connecting links. Okay. Now each of these link has a certain weight associated with it. That's why it is called as weighted links. Here, as you can see, these no uh, the nodes which are connected to this node, they are connected by a link and each of these link has a weight associated with it, which is denoted by the arrowhead. Okay, so here I have not uh, mentioned the arrowheads otherwise the figure would have been a, a very uh, clumsy one so all of these links is associated with a 
weight marked by the arrowhead so the weights they associated with each link they carry certain information about the signal and they can manipulate or alter the signal flowing through the link so here the weights associated with each of these links affects the net input in the following way this net input let's say y to this signal the net input it can influence it can be like x1 w1 plus x2 w2 plus x3 w3 this is the bias signal which we will discuss so this is it how it affects the net input and the output so each of these signals input signals is multiplied with the weight values the individual weight values okay x1 w1 x1 with w1 x2 with w2 and x3 with w3 the weight associated with each of the links carrying the respective signal so the next parameter is the bias so the bias is a constant signal value which is added to a neuron which is just like another weighted link so here this constant value which is generally taken as one and this weight associated with this constant signal 1 is called as the bias. So bias acts as a constant to this which is added to a particular neuron. So these are the weights associated with the input signals which can be variable but the bias is a weight associated with a constant signal value. So we have discussed weights and bias. Next is the activation function. So the activation function uh, associated with each of these nodes, okay, this fx net, that is the activation function associated with each node. So each of these nodes in this neural network, it has a certain activation function associated with it. So that determines the input output relationship, how the input applied to a neuron or node will be manipulated to generate the output now the activation functions it can either be a linear or non-linear function so all the mathematical functions that exist can be used as activation functions so the common activation functions that are used in neural networks is this fx is equal to x in which the output is same as the input which is the identity function Otherwise, it can be a sigmoidal function 1 by 1 plus e to the power minus lambda x where x is the input and uh, lambda is uh, a constant which is called as the steepness parameter. Otherwise, it can be in the form of a binary step function where uh, a particular threshold is used. Okay, And for a particular threshold, when the input is lesser than that, the output is 0 and when it crosses the threshold or it is equal to the threshold, it is a 1 so it is a it is used in digital neural networks so these are the commonly used uh, activation functions which determine for what input the output will be what so next important parameter associated with uh, the neural network is threshold as i discussed here the threshold here theta is also the threshold here also in the same way theta is the threshold where when the input is lesser than the threshold value the output is minus 1 when the input is greater than the threshold value it crosses the threshold value the output is plus 1 here also the same way threshold was used in binary step function when input was lesser than the threshold the output was 0 and when the input crossed the threshold the output was 1 so this is the binary step function and this is the bipolar step function okay so these are some of the parameters associated with the artificial neuron so first the input node the input layer of nodes then the output nodes from which the output is taken then the hidden or intermediate nodes which act as a connecting link between the input and the output nodes then the weights and how they influence the output which is which is multiplied with the input signal levels w1 w2 w3 associated with each link then bias which is this constant signal which is added to the neuron and then the activation functions and then the threshold so these are some of the parameters 
and terms associated with uh, neural networks which we'll be using a lot so i wanted you to uh, get acquainted with all of these terms so i hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to electrical electronics instrumentation and communication engineering have a great day thank you very much